So the idea is to have a integrated uh, rubric and comment bank. The teacher can use to select the comments and then share the scored rubric with the comments in a PDF and in an email. I've collapsed the score one and two just for screen real estate as those are not frequent scores at least in my school. And the way this works is that you would put the comments directly from the IB rubric into these cells. And you can rename the sheet and this header for each subject, year, and unit. The renaming in this cell is important because the email to the student uh, grabs the unit name from here. Some features are that when you select a comment, it will also select automatically the task specific clarification for that comment. Furthermore, if you decide to change the score, it will uncheck the boxes from the previous score. Similarly, if you uncheck one of the rubrics boxes, it will uncheck the test specific clarification box. You can also add custom comments for each section. So if I have something more specific, I want to say for score of five, six on a certain unit, I can write it here. And it will become part of the aggregated comment. These checkboxes have no restriction on them, so you can add up to six comments for each score category, and you can also add rows here. It won't mess up the software. Now, the way this works is with a sidebar, and you will be prompted to continue give authorization because this is an unverified app. I made this account for the demonstration purposes. You would need to click advanced and continue only if you trust me, the developer. Go to this app and allow. Yeah, that's a lot of steps, but only needs to be done once per email, per owner's email. So now I can open the sidebar properly and every other action will be allowed from this point on. Uh, clear checkboxes is uh, in order to facilitate scoring the next student, but we're on the demo, so it doesn't really make sense. But suppose you had scored a student for uh, all three I'm sorry, all four criteria. And then you wanted to score the next one. You can clear all checkboxes this way. Um, so let's look at how this would look uh, for an actual subject. So here you can see I've added also clear sidebar. Later you'll see the, why that's useful. Okay. So let's pretend that we're scoring a student now on package design for year three, MYP design, grade eight, for example. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> you can see I've chosen some scores here. And like I said earlier, if you wanna make a change uh, you can just with one click change the category, but you have to make sure that you didn't check, for example, a comment that belongs to a different score range. Uh, that bold right there is because I have it set to automatically bold command terms. I need to fix that right there but in the code. By the way, if you want to look at the code, you can always look at it in the app script. Uh, it shows you exactly what's happening, how the sidebar gets made and shown 
what happens when you check a box. This is what's taking care of the check uncheck pairs. Now, in order to fix this bug with uh, bolding command terms, matching state of statement and matching discuss of discussion, we will have to change the code. There's a function called bold command terms, which searches the whole sheet for command terms. And if it finds one, it bolds it without changing any other formatting like font or size or other bold. And here are all the command terms. But if you notice, they don't have a white space character after. So they do ignore case, capital I, lowercase i. So as you can see, state is going to match statement. Discuss is going to match discussion. So I had uh, ChatGPT give me a copy of this list, but with a space after each word. So I'm just going to paste that over this. And we should be good to go now. Let's test. OK, so I'm going to unbold state and unbold discuss here. And I'm going to also unbold explain to see that it really does still match what we want it to match. And let's run bold command terms. Aha, uh -huh. fixed. Explained is bold, but state and discuss are not bolded if part of another word. This creates the comment. So we haven't seen that yet. Let's take a look. So now I've, let's say, scored the student right now. I haven't actually given the number score, but I've checked the categories for each of the four criteria. So now I can click make comment. This will allow you to just see the whole comment, copy paste it elsewhere. And if you're satisfied that that's the comment for this student, then you can do the best fit. Okay, so zoom out a little here. And I can see that this student's best fit is probably in the five, six range. And they were able to get into the seven, eight range for A2. Depending on the situation, you would give the student a five or six. Again, there's sub comments here that might sway the uh, border case. Let's say we give the student a six. And here you put the student name, student email. And then you can retrieve that same comment to put in this box right here <clears throat> that will be part of the email for the student. And now I can save and share PDF. As you can see, a PDF has been generated for this student. Uh, this has not yet been shared with the student. But the sidebar will now prompt you, are you sure you want to share this document? Yes. Now. This will not notify the student yet. Okay, the document has been shared with the student. So I'll prove that. So um, I am in the student's account. And if I go to shared with me, then you can see that there's a document here that was generated by the teacher at 854, which is the current time. Uh, it's the same PDF that you saw earlier. Notice that no email has been sent yet, even though the file has been shared. And that's because the notify is set by the code to not be checked. Now, when you're ready to email the score, you can click email score PDF. And now an email has been sent to the student. And you can see. And the email will contain the comment and your intro uh, greeting and your sign off and the attached score.
and you can change that sign off if you want to change it in the email PDF score function. You can see I have dear and student's name and I have subject your score. I could have made that your score on the criterion, for example, just to show you how you can make changes. Right? So the email that the student received, email that the student received says your score in the subject. Let's suppose you wanted it to say your score on package design criterion A. Well, you could take all of this and copy it here. Save. Let's try that again. Email PDF of score to student. An email has been sent. Notice. The subject matter has changed, but debugging time, your score, package design. Nope, your score on package design. No problem. Save. And I want lowercase score. Save again. Email again. Test. Fresh. Oh, there we go. Now it's fine. 